All right, guys, this is Manny. Pretty much, uh, I wanted to make a video for you guys to let you know what you're going to be looking for when you're buying a box or when you're building a box. Um, pretty much, um, you want a box that you can run a tank on, and you want a box that you can actually build your own coils um, for ATTs or RDAs or things like that. So pretty much um, what most of these guys want you to do is they want you to have a box. The box, in order to run a tank, you're going to be needing some kind of a parallel built, something that you can put coils that are going to be like 0 0.5, 0 0.8 to 1.2s. And most series boxes, you can't do that. So what you need to do is you need to look for something like this, all right? First of all, you're going to be needing a voltmeter on there that lets you know what the voltage is on. As you can see, I'm running both batteries on the positive up, which means that they're set up to run like a, uh, like a parallel to run your tanks. So as you can see, with both batteries together, it's running about 3.86 with two batteries, which means that it's taking the ohm or the, or the battery uh, drain equal on both batteries. Now, let's say I want to put an RDA on here with a 0 0.20 or a, a 0.18 or something like that. I can't because this box, it, you're going to be killing both of your batteries very rapidly. Um, so what you need to do is, as you can see on this box here, look at the voltage you see it's 3.83 now you see this little switch on here you click on that down and all of a sudden you see the voltage you see how it's starting to cook as soon as I press it really quick because the voltage is at let me take the tank off I don't want to fry the coil in it so as you can see it's running 7 8.15 I can smell the coil burning on it because it's now it's running on a series at, at 8 volts. That means I can put an Addy on there, um, put it back up again, and now I can put my tank back on there again. I can smell the coil burning in it. it uh, it's giving it 8.4 volts immediately. I can taste burn. Now, as you can see, It probably fried the coil on there. No, it didn't. It's working. So now, in, in this situation, now you have a box that runs both batteries up. You don't have to worry about flipping them upside down. Uh, it's got a MOSFET on it, and if you can see the MOSFET, it's not heat wrapped. It's just sitting in there. And what I did is I put some carbon fiber um, wrap inside there, inside the door, and inside the box, so that you have so the MOSFET doesn't accidentally hit the metal and short out your box. So what you need to do is, just like I'm telling you. Build yourself something like this or get one that's dual. It might cost you 130, 140 bucks, but at least you have two boxes in one. You don't have to worry about having to get a second box to run your your um, your RDAs on there with with some special coils. Um, the next thing is you, you want to look for neatness. You know, you don't want if you see f cables everywhere, wrapped up, nesting, uh, shit, glue everywhere. I don't know why you're gonna get something like that because you know um, that lets me know about the builder two things number one he doesn't give a shit he's building it quick to make a buck off of you um, number three he's using cheap components he doesn't want to take the time to put the f carbon fiber stuff in it the meter nice and neat everything in here is moving all you need to do is figure out how to get it in there like this switch I can pop it off of there but as you can see all you all you need to do is just build neat now that's a neat box right there you don't see crazy welds everywhere you'll see crazy shit as you can see up here in the switch everything is perfectly screwed in there making perfect contact there is no crazy stuff anywhere as you can see look at the MOSFET down here 
the MOSFET is sitting in there nice and neat, unwrapped. That way it can breathe, it can get air. Sometimes they tell you, oh, it's wrapped. It just never get hot. Believe me, when you start putting a, uh, like a doggy or a Mutation X on there and running the shit out of this thing, believe me, that thing is going to feel like it's cooking inside of that thing. The next thing you want to look for is your switch. This is like a, I can run 30, 40 amps on this switch. It ain't going to burn up. Never, ever, ever. So uh, look for the gauge. Look for a box that you can run parallel and series. Um, something that's neat, well built. Not some guy that's building it for 40 bucks, selling it to you for 120 bucks and making 80 bucks on the gig. gig. You know, I understand they want to make money. They're, everybody in this world is, is after, whether it's vaping, cars, homes, they want to do one thing and that's make money. But, what you want to do is, you want a guy that gives you service. If the box fries, send it to me. I'll send you one in the mail. Run it for a couple of days while I fix yours. When you get yours back, send me my box back, all right? Um, somebody that's going to give you customer service, somebody that's going to help you out, and somebody that's getting you into vaping because he wants to help you quit smoking and live a healthier life. I know, you know, if the guy wants to make 40 bucks uh, for two or three hours of work, making $15 an hour, and he makes 45 bucks, that I can live with. But when he pays 40 bucks for it, and makes 45 on it so a normal price for a box should be about a hundred bucks whether once you start getting into the meters into switches that's going to be dual it becomes the guy's going to invest 60 bucks in parts alone not counting labor so 120 130 140 bucks is reasonable for a good box <clears throat> especially one that you can run anything on it if you want to go join competition and blow fucking fogs out your ass and beat people, you need a series box. Something that's going to run 8 volts, um, 0 0.18, 0 0.20, 0 0.30 ohms, um, Clapton's, anything you want to. But, but you're going to have to have a series box. So it's better if you get one that's dual, a series and a parallel box, two in one. That little switch costs like 10, 12 bucks. So a, a little bit of extra work, the guy might have to be a little bit more competent because not a lot of people can do this shit without frying crap. So um, I buy my boxes from one guy, man, only one that I know that if, if you go right now on eBay, his first name is Franklin and his last name is C Cromer, Franklin Cromer. Uh, you can find him, just put on there his name on eBay, Franklin Cromer. Uh, C R O M M E R, um, first name Franklin without the G. So Franklin Cromer. The guy goes <coughs> out of the extreme uh, to build quality. Takes his time. Um, I buy my shit from him. The guy has never given me anything for free, other than once in a while to thank you for buying a box. He'll send you a box and he'll send you some e juice in there that he might put together, some shit that he might have just laying around. This guy, he, he works at a tugboat company out of Louisiana uh, in the daytime, pulling tugboats together. At nights, he's building one or two boxes for people who want to quit smoking. He puts 50, 60 bucks in them. I think his basic box with a meter, parallel, or series with free shipping to you is like 90 bucks. I'm talking about this guy doesn't want to make an arm or a leg off of you. So, um, I don't want you believing, you know, I'm not like these people. Send me a box, I'll review it for free and I'll keep the bitch. I don't go for that. I spend my money on it, you know. I, I'm retired. I was in the army. I don't make a lot of money, so I don't have hundreds of dollars to blow in shit. You don't see 15 boxes behind me. You know, I have one box. Maybe I might have it at the maximum two before, but now that I figured out how to get shit that is two boxes in one, I don't need to have 15 boxes anymore. Those cigarette bullshits, don't get them. 
uh, I've gone through one of those every couple of weeks, you know, the 100 watts, 150 watts Chinese crap, you know, that it, if you can put a point three or point two or point one ohm on there, it might be worth it, like an IPv3, something like that. But the thing about it is that I want a box that's going to last me a while, not like a week or two, or a month, or two months. And then after three months, I might as well throw the bitch away. So um, leave me some comments. Uh, remember the guy's name, Franklin Cromer. The guy's a good guy. Um, a hard worker, American, spent money on his shit because it's worth it. You know, I had a box that one time, within a couple of days, the voltmeter wasn't working. So within two days, I have a new box at my house. And he tells me, Manny, take my old box, wrap it up, send it back to me. I'll pay you back the five bucks, so it's five ninety-five that for the UP, uh, USPS priority shipping for that little box, and um, but that's the guy I've been doing business with, and the guy's pretty much straight up front. Um, so g give Franklin a shout. Um, he's on eBay. You see his boxes. I think they're right now like eighty-five bucks and five uh, ninety-five for the shipping, so about ninety dollars, and you get a box a series or parallel with a meter. And um, talk to him, tell him, hey man, I want something that I can run both, series and whatever. Can you build me one? And he might be able to build you one like for 130 bucks uh, with free shipping, um, which I think is reasonable for having two boxes. So keep vaping. Ah, oh, man, good stuff. And good luck with the boxes, man, all right? Don't get fooled. Don't get caught in a trap. And don't get people to sell you shit that you don't need, all right, man? Thank you, man. Take it easy, guys, all right?